Hey guys, this is Fei Wu from Phase World Media. I'm very excited because last week Zoom announced a marketplace for content creators like yourself. So you may be a fitness instructor, you may be a painter, it doesn't matter. I'm really excited about this. I'm actually really surprised that it took Zoom this long to create a marketplace or a community where people can come together and find and filter on the events they would like to attend to. That's what this video is all about. I want to be one of the first ones on YouTube to talk about it and let's see how it goes. But this is going to be a multi-part video series. I want to be fully transparent because you guys know that just because a marketplace exists doesn't mean that you can automatically become a host. As I learned very quickly, I thought I could just sign up simply by owning a copy of Zoom. No, you do have to apply as a host. So let's just think for a second. When you become a host, it means whether you are an individual, independent creator, or if you're an entrepreneur, a mom and pop shop, there is now a platform for you to not only create events, but also to share it with the world. So instead of just publishing and sharing and monetizing it on your own website or on your own Facebook page, well, there's an opportunity for people to discover this right from this platform. So to get started, let's click on become a host. Now, in order to become a host, so there's some guidelines, instructions that you might find helpful, such as schedule and host events, event series for up to a thousand attendees, which is very exciting. You can earn, secure a list and sell tickets, collect payments through PayPal. Here's the reasoning why on Zoom. Well, what I noticed right away is the ticketing system that is a lot more, I would say, better design, more sophisticated and also convenient. And that's it. So all you have to do is fill out a request form to become a host. Step one, Zoom wants to confirm that in order to begin your application to be a host, you have to confirm that you have a pro business enterprise or education Zoom account. Then from there, you're going to enter your name, your email, what is the account number you need to confirm for your pro, and there is instruction if you cannot find that. So for owner's account profile under paid account profile under basic information, you will see account number right there. It looks like once you complete your host application, you'll be added to the host on Zoom waitlist. And when hosting opportunities become available, we'll reach out. Let's just take a quick look at this questionnaire. Why do you want to be a host on Zoom? So a few things, you know, even though I do not work for Zoom, I don't know what's going to guarantee you access to be a host on Zoom. I do know that uh, companies such as Zoom, as well as, for example, LinkedIn, they want to make sure that you have existing events you are already hosting. And furthermore, you're going to host more events. Um, and that is something that they want to make sure it's on a regular basis. So instead of hosting one event, they want to see more recurring, more consistent content and events released from your brand. So that is along the statement that you want to say. And you also might want to say that you host both free as well as paid events. Let's see, what type of events do you would like to host? Education and entertainment. So these are the existing categories. I would say that not to forbid you from using other, but if you have something that's already following these main categories um, at on Zoom, then who knows, maybe there's a better chance for you to get approved more quickly. So after a bit of a consideration, I wrote down my answers here and I want to be fully transparent because these fields do matter. You have a real person reviewing these applications, maybe hundreds of them at a time. So you need to give these brands, especially popular and big brands like Zoom, a very compelling message for them to understand who you are, what you do and why they should prioritize you to be a host. So for me, the story is this. Uh, first, I state that I have a very active presence on YouTube because of you guys. Thank you, listeners and watchers. You, you guys made a lot of things possible for me. Otherwise, I wouldn't even take part of. So I say I have a very active presence on YouTube. If you are most active on certain channels, you want to call that out. For you, if it's not YouTube, maybe it's LinkedIn, maybe it's Facebook. So think that through. And then I also state my most popular content are all Zoom related uh, also um, on YouTube. And this is true, as you guys probably know already. So um, I want to include a playlist as social proof just to show them that I have popular Zoom content and they have a very easy way of accessing that. And of course, Zoom um, on Zoom is part of Zoom. And it's just more compelling uh, because we're talking about the same brand here. 
Additionally, I host a number of live stream and interview events, as well as webinars for podcasters, live streamers, and content creators, some details here. So that's another reason, you know, in addition to my YouTube presence, I also run these actual live events and I would love to find a place where I can advertise them more and have people actually join in. Uh, more information on my main site. Uh, I figure I mentioned this because I do so much more than what I'm showing on YouTube. You know, I've been a content creator and, and creative entrepreneur for a fairly long time, since 2014. Uh, lastly, we have a documentary series on Amazon Prime, and we're hoping to produce more content along that line, introducing documentary uh, filmmaking to the general public. Even given COVID, there are a number of tips and tricks we will teach while working from home. So social proof, once again, but also make it very relevant and relatable during COVID. Um, and lastly, you know, we are filmmakers, video producers, just to give Zoom a sense that we have high quality content, we know what we're doing. So think about how um, this can relate to you and your work. Again, this doesn't mean that fancy cameras, lighting kit and all that stuff, but if you're a storyteller, if you have a built-in audience, make sure you mention that. Last but not least, I think a lot of what I do is education uh, related. There's some entertainment elements, but for the most part, uh, it's education, uh, a family. I would probably also check community and spirituality. So that's it. <laughs> Actually, I didn't get the chance to review it, but there you have it. Let's see. Thank you for submitting. Zoom will respond by email to every host application submitted. That's great. If Zoom is unable to approve your host at this time, you'll be added to a wait list for future evaluation. Only an admin or owner of a paid account. Again, you can't just be a user. You have to be the admin or owner of your Zoom account in order to be considered. So this is another way for them to say, hey, if you got a free account, make sure you upgrade here. So that's it. I guess this is where the, the wait game will be on. Um, but I think overall, it is really quite exciting, guys. And, um, you know, doesn't hurt. As you can see, it took me about five, 10 minutes to fill the application. You really just never know until you apply. So about 24 hours after I applied for on Zoom, I got an email in my inbox and I'm super fresh to this data right here. As you can see, we're happy to see your events come to life on Zoom. So let's help you get started. And looks like I must attend one of the following trainings, which is about a week away from uh, when I'm receiving this email. I have two options and it's mandatory. Um, what this uh, these sessions seem to be about is an introduction as well as learning more about the platform, best practices, when, what to do, what not to do. And you'll be granted host access to on Zoom once you attend the training. If none of these training options uh, will work for you, then um, you can actually let, let them know as well. And um, that will put you in a future training. So for me, I'm going to attend on Tuesday, October 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And I'll report back in a part two of this video to show you guys my honest take on, on Zoom. And I'll see you guys later. Hey, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. I cannot wait to share with this lovely face world, family and community of what I learned more about Zoom, about live streaming and creating and running a successful business online. Love to this community and I'll see you next time.